combating Fox News. Yeah. What can they do to combat Fox News? I mean, and we just saw that this is this strategy will work. Um, so the dirty secret about Fox News is that they do not need a single TV commercial. They could have zero dollars in ad revenue and they would still have a 90 percent profit margin. And that is because they are the second most expensive channel on everybody's cable box. Um, ESPN is number one. Fox News is number two. They're like mm, about four times more than CNN, uh, you know, about eight times more than MSNBC. Um, their, their price per subscriber that each cable company gives them is really, really, really high. Um, so and that's not like, because of viewership. It's yeah. like four bucks, right? A month? It's, it's right now 250 a little, okay. more, give or take. They're trying to go up to 350 um, that's, that's, And that's what's happening at the end of the year. Fox is renegotiating all of their contracts. Um, and so they're, every cable company is forcing their customers to op- not just pay for Fox News, but overpay for Fox News which gives them an enormous amount of revenue that means that unlike other TV channels, which require commercials, Fox does not. That is the dirty secret. And that means they can do things like Tucker and not have to worry about the blowback from advertisers. And that allows them to to do a lot of the stuff that we've talked about with impunity. Um, So what can people do? Well, we just saw what they did with One American News. DirecTV had One American News. They were overpaying for it. They dropped them. And why did they drop them? Because customers called enough of them and complained and what that does is affect something called the demand score. It's what every cable company uses to decide whether or not they're not just going to carry a channel, but how much they're going to pay for it. And so enough people call DirecTV to get them to drop them. Same thing with Fox. People call. They say they don't want to pay for Fox News. Even Fox Business gets more money for Fox News than MSNBC does. They have 10,000 viewers. And yet they get paid more than MSNBC does per subscriber. That's just to show you how much they stack the decks in their favor. And so if these cable companies drop Fox business or even just hold the line or reduce their fees for Fox News, um, Fox News will no longer be a profitable company in a year. Um, That's the simple answer is that people can call. And I promise you every cable company logs it is extremely important for them. It's like a thing that they track is and that's what fox does fox has their viewers call you ever watch you know don't ever watch fox but if you do a lot of their hosts always say make sure you call your company and demand it demand it they use the word demand because they know that if this thing is called the demand score so all people have to do call their cable company tell them they don't want to pay for fox news anymore everything gets logged and tracked it's what happened with one american news there will be a moment starting in the fall when fox news restarts their negotiations Um, And this is going to affect the outcome of Fox News, not just in the moment, but what takes place during that four month period of time is going to shape what Fox News is required to do over the next few years. So this is a real pivot point in not just the short term, but also what's going to happen to the landscape over the long term. And that's the answer. People have to call. They have to complain Um, or cut the cord or cut the cord. cord. Cancel entirely. Make sure they know you're doing it because you're forcing them to pay for Fox. And it's the simplest, most important thing people can do in this moment. It really will make a difference. It's what happened with DirecTV and One American News. It is why One American News got dropped. It's because consumers called DirecTV. And just to put a bow on it, there are 3 million Fox viewers. There are 87 million people that never, ever turn on Fox News but have a cable subscription. So the numbers are really lopsided here. Um, And there is no reason for Fox to be the second most expensive channel. And this is a good old-fashioned consumer campaign. Fox does it. Other consumers have never done it. It's time for that.